Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Fred Coper. She's a member of parliament in Ukraine, but she also delivers food, medicine, and ammunition to the war's hotspots. She is Natanya Pippa, who uh, not only is a member of parliament seen here, but has also served as Secretary of Education and on the Science and Innovation Committee. This week, she's been in New Hampshire. Here's a quote. I have three directions of work now, she said. International relations, delivering food, medicines, and ammunition to hotspots, and humanitarian aid for internally displaced people. With me is Natalia and Pippa, who is in New Hampshire for a second time to thank the people of New Hampshire for the assistance that they've given to the people of Ukraine. She's a member of the Holos Party, H-O-L-O-S, in Parliament that supports the West, Europe, and NATO. Welcome, Natalia. Nice. Uh, hello, New Hampshire. Nice to be here second time because from last summer I feel New Hampshire like one big family of Ukraine and me too. <laughs> Uh, well, it's nice to have you here again. There's much to ask you in five minutes, but uh, let me ask you, what part of Ukraine do you represent, and are you and your family living there at the moment in the midst of the war? Yes, I represent west part of Ukraine, our city Lviv, and my family at the moment is in Lviv, my husband and two sons, but son sometimes was in Poland because it was very dangerous because all members of Ukrainian parliaments were on the list of Russians just to kill. And it's reason why first uh, from 1st March my children go to Poland and I was in Ukraine this whole time. Your parliament has uh, 450 members, I understand, when they're all there, uh, roughly the same size as the New Hampshire legislature and the U.S. House of Representatives. Tell us what it's like to be a legislator in a government that has to function during a war. Difficult, because in first day of this big war, because we have war eight years, I don't know what I must to do, like member of parliament or like mother, what I must to stay and uh, vote for martial law, because uh, we are understand the key is bombed and we were in the building of parliament uh, and it, it is very good like to bomb all parliament with all deputies uh, and from Kiev to Lviv is seven hours, but no, but in the first day of war, it takes me more than uh, uh, for, uh, 20, uh, 24, uh, 24, yes, it was very difficult. I made it like, first of all, uh, my old duties like member of parliament. After that, uh, I go to Lviv, uh, but all time of the uh, invasion in Kyiv too, I go to uh, voting for all um, laws that we needed. Of all the supplies that New Hampshire has sent to Ukraine, and we've sent quite a bit already, uh, we're getting a feedback that the ready-to-eat meals is the most appreciated. Did you know that? Yes, really, thank you. It was for 5,000 uh, meals, and it's very important for refugees and for soldiers, too, because it's something that is really helpful, because in uh, today, in the first way, uh, days of war, we don't have enough food, because all time our old ports in seaside are uh, at the moment bombed and blocked by Russia, and a lot of our exports and imports go by the ports. And this that we uh, take it from you is very important, especially this meal is like a very, uh, um, is cook very good. <laughs> yeah. Well, Natalia, thank you so much uh, for being my guest on New Hampshire's business. And uh, please uh, feel free to come back to New Hampshire again. Thank you, dear New Hampshire. And thank you for support. We, will, we must ask you for this support because we must fight for democracy and peace in the world. And we need support for it. Thank you. If you missed part of the, Natalia's remarks, you can go to WMUR.com. We'll be posted later today and all this week.